but actually not really, because here's another Billy. Claire gets a pretty sweet minigun, though. And uh, the name of the game is generally just kind of kiting him around and hoping he doesn't mess you up too hard. I'm assuming you just keep shooting him in the eyes and keep kiting him around this tram. He does some like weird dive bomb thing. And then I think he'll try to jump on us again. I mean, really, if you just keep keep running and you use the car to like kind of avoid him when he tries to charge you like this, generally you won't get hit. Generally you won't get slapped up too bad. And I'm pretty sure this is just like a big damage dump. But they give you they give you the minigun to help you out a little bit. Which unfortunately Leon does not get that luxury. I guess he's gonna climb the wall again. But unfortunately sooner or later, you are gonna have to swap to your own stuff. I wonder if like flame rounds would be any better against him. I don't know. Probably lights him on fire, puts a little dot on him. Did I really miss that? I swear I hit it. I swear I hit a lot of things, but... You know, it doesn't always work out that well. I guess he just walks out of the fire, so... Five minutes, we're still fine. Feels like the bullets are shooting lower than where I'm, like, trying to put them. I don't know if I'm crazy or it's just, like, the momentum of the elevator or, like, what, but... Uh-oh. I'm probably gonna take some damage here. Nope. I barely, I barely got out of that. I was a little far away from the corner. Oh, there goes the minigun. Unfortunately, the last the minigun. Doing his slap attack again. Great. Just keep kiting him. I could try to hit him with the uh, spark shot again, but we all know how that went last time. It didn't go very well, did it? I just ended up wasting, like, a ton of ammo. Maybe I shouldn't hold left click and then we're good. Oh, no, Billy, don't do it. Don't charge me, Billy. You know you don't want to do it, Billy. I think he's pretty close to dying. His eyes are all red, so... Red-eyed Billy is pretty good. It means he's pretty damaged. And that's the last spark shot round I got. So I got, I got more acid rounds. I got some magnum rounds. Hopefully, I have enough to beat them. Otherwise, it's going to be bad times for me. Uh oh. Uh, maybe I'll just go this way? Oh, wow. I can't believe I actually avoided them. I do have some Magnum shots, though, so... Unfortunately, I might not have enough stuff. Do acid rounds, like, just not do any damage to him, or, like, what? Because I actually only have two acid rounds left. And then I'm just, like, completely out of ammo, so... I may just have to end up reloading this, because there's literally, like, no way I can do damage. Oh, uh, unfortunately, I may have to bring... Yeah, unfortunately, I'm just, like, straight up out of ammo, so... Uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring enough ammo or played it way too poorly. I probably wasted too much machine gun stuff. Um, so, unfortunately, I am just going to have to reload. Because there's no way I can do any additional damage to him. I don't even have, like, a knife, so... 
all I can do is just kind of like walk up to him and just like walk around him. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to reload and I'm probably gonna cut out all of the walking back to him and I'm just gonna bring more slash better ammo. Maybe I should bring the pistol and the SMG instead of a ton of like acid rounds because I don't know, acid rounds just don't seem to be cutting it. So, uh, when I come back, once I get back here, I will have more ammo and be better prepared, and hopefully he will die. Alright, so I think this time I'm going to try to play it a little bit differently. I brought some different ammo and stuff, but I think that uh, when he climbs up walls and stuff, I'm just not going to shoot him. I'm just going to try and use most of my minigun ammo on his eyes um, when I have a decent shot. And just try to go from there. Why can't you just die? Oh, trust me, Claire. I wish he would just die. So I brought less healing items. Oh God! Ouch! Well, good thing I, I brought less healing items, right? Because <laughs> this is already going great. I was like, ah, I didn't even get hit like at all last time, so I probably don't need to bring like any healing items. But fortunately, this boss is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh oh. I was hoping to have just like one, one turn them, but I think I'm gonna try to focus a little bit more on his eyes. And when he's climbing up the wall, I'm just not gonna shoot at him really. But otherwise, we're just gonna try to pop his eyes and let him do his own thing. And just kind of run around and kite him, and uh, hopefully things go a little bit better this time. Because last time I just straight up ran out of ammo. Hadn't really had that happen before, but I don't think my minigun usage was very good, so we'll try to make it a little bit better this time. I think that's the plan, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. Try to be a little bit more careful. Obviously, not gonna be perfect, but you know. Like he's swinging again. I really try, need to try to be careful and be defensive. I guess he's going this way. Oh, he's going up the wall again? Okay, cool. Well, I guess I'll just let him go up the wall. I guess I'll resume my usual kiting. That time he actually tried to land on me. Oh. Yeah, let's go ahead and avoid that. I already got hit by that, and it sent me like straight into danger last time. Dang it. Hit the eyes. Where is he at? Is he just over there swinging? What is he doing? He's probably just going to try to climb the stupid wall again. Where is he? There he is. Oh, now he wants to climb the wall? Cool. Cool, Birkin. Real cool. Alright, he jumps on the train. I'll just keep running. Because Billy doesn't know about momentum. Mutated Billy's not as smart as his... Where the hell did he go? Thought he was going to come around the corner, but... I guess we're going the opposite way now. Alright, well, I actually need to make it around this corner. Is he climbing the wall again? Billy, are you on the wall again? Yep, Billy's on the wall again. Oh, he just like straight up missed. All right, I need to keep going because he's going to turn around and probably be mad. Billy, don't go on the wall again, you moron. Come on. Go ahead and uh, he's probably going on the wall again, isn't he? If I'm not careful, I'm gonna run out of time. His eyes are like already red though, so this is already going probably a lot better. I feel like this has already gone much better than last time. I, th I think I think the problem was that I just wasted way too much minigun ammo on him 
like poorly, so. Where is he? Is he on the wall again, Billy? Come on, we don't have time for this. I got three minutes. I got three minutes, Billy. It's three minutes to midnight. Haven't you heard the song? It's the exact title of the song. Two minutes? Nah, three minutes. Oh, whoops. I actually want to, like... Uh oh Billy. Like, he's gotta be real hurt, right? How did that miss, really? Uh oh Go, Claire, go, Claire, go! Jesus, Claire. That was close. Oh, yeah, I don't have to keep, like, sight on him, too. Oh, I think he's dead. Maybe. Oh, let's keep... Let's keep giving it to him. There we go. All right, so the main problem was that I didn't use the minigun very well the first attempt. I'm going to go ahead and officially declare that the main issue. But it took a lot longer, but the damage was better. And Billy for sure is dead, right? There's no way Billy's coming back. Like, we made sure that Billy is dead. This is like the 80th time we've killed him. Killed in heavy quotation marks. So we've got to be fine, right? We got to be fine. He's Claire. dead for good. It's okay. I'm here. We're getting out of here. Let's get out of here, Claire. Punch it. Forget Leon, my favorite character in the series. We don't need him anymore. Let's leave. We've got the Claire and Sherry tag team. Sherry opens the doors. I do everything else. It's a well-oiled machine of a team. What's the first thing you want to do when we get out of here? Take a shower. That'd be the first thing I'd want to do. I want to see where you live. Good. Because I want to take a shower. Yeah. yeah, me and Claire are on the same page. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Claire! Leon! It's so good to see you. I told you we'd make it, didn't I? You did. Oh, you Who's were this? right, Leon. You this? were right. This is Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. What was that? I don't know. You stay here with Sherry. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, you, you stay here, Leon. The police officer with training. You stay you stay in there. Don't worry. I'll I'll find out what's going on. So in B, in scenario B, you're not quite done when you get to the tram. You're just not quite done. And that's pretty unfortunate for us, but let's put that away and that away, and we probably don't need the knife. And I'm gonna go ahead and take out whatever would be good to take out. So we'll take out the grenade launcher, we'll take out all our ammo, we'll take out these high-powered rounds. Um, What else should we... We can probably get away without having that. I could probably make nothing with this because there's no white there's no high quality gunpowder I can make a bunch of pistol ammo but I don't think that's really going to cut it huh what should I bring what should I bring I don't think healing is really an issue but like just in case I take some damage I guess I'll bring some healing uh, these grenades would be good. I don't know if flashbangs really do anything, but, like, having these grenades would probably be good. Let me go ahead and save real quick. Save one last time in case something happens. 
may maybe the flashbangs would be good, but I have no idea if it actually, like, stuns them or anything. So I'm just going to bring an extra grenade. We'll store that. Uh, Amma, fighting this last enemy or this last boss, whatever you want to call it, is kind of annoying because he has a fair bit of health. And I'm not really sure what the best way to go about doing it is. But usually I try to save enough firepower for the end of this so that uh, it's not too bad. Of course, I could take out a bunch of gunpowder and just make 9mm ammo. Didn't I have two fatty gunpowders? Yeah, where are those at? Let me, let me get these. Uh, let me store... Hell, I don't know. I guess I'll store this healing item for now. Where's my other fatty gunpowder? Here it is. Let's combine that. Bunch of ammo. I can probably only combine another couple of these. Yeah, this is probably good enough, so... Where's that cool handgun? Here it is. I think this was it. Let's go ahead and reload this. I actually could make some more gunpowder, some more ammo, but I don't really have the gunpowder for it now, so... It's kind of whatever. I want this organized like how I had it before. Yeah, with the guns on top, that'd be pretty pretty good. So I'll probably take out one healing item. Uh, you know what I will do? If I can use this healing item before I even go in there, that would probably be good. Also, I'm pretty sure I saved. So can I like use this healing item? All right, so that gives me the defense buff, which is great. Probably a little bit of a waste, but I don't need all this stuff anyway. And hopefully this stuff is enough to kill this stupid last enemy who sucks. But hopefully this will be good enough. And if not, then it's back to the drawing board again. But we'll see. But just like the original Resident Evil 2, it's not quite over yet. Not quite over yet. I think he's got some eyes that are weak, but... Not sure. Because I'll just toss a bunch of nades at him. That was, like, pretty far away. Was, oh, God. I think if he catches you, you're just dead. Which kind of sucks. Uh, where's my magnum here? We'll take, the, we'll take out the magnum. Oh, there's this, there's this big guy. I probably should have saved the Magnum for that. Probably would have been good to save stuff with a big eye. I'm feeling a little, uh... I'm feeling a little claustrophobic, I gotta say. I'm not sure I did enough damage to him. Oh, oh I actually did it. Oh, I think I did it. Or am I dead? No, I did it. Okay. Whew, that was close. Oh. I forgot that his big eye shows up at the end. I'm gonna lose that car. Probably would have been better to save the Magnum shots for the big eye, but... How could I forget Billy Birkin's big eye? I don't know how I could forget that. Oh, is that a lead pipe? Where'd Claire get that lead pipe from? Ooh, right in the big eye. There you go. Poetic justice. The lead pipe in the big eye. I think the nightmare might finally be over. Billy is dead after like 18 boss fights. Holy crap. I thought I was dead there at the end too. It can be it can be a little bit annoying trying to like pump out a, enough damage to to get him dead. And the fact that I forgot that his weak spot shows up at the end probably didn't help me out at all, but so that's where we're at. Guys, like boyfriend and girlfriend? No. We just or we actually just met last night <laughs> yeah that would have been one hell of a first date though yeah you have no idea look he might be able to give us a ride hey who the hell is this what if it's not just the city get Cherry out of here come on
forgot about this truck driver. Who is this? Wait, oh, flipped us off. What a jerk. Oh, yeah, some of that Midwestern friendliness there. So, is it over? I don't know. But if it's not, we'll stop it. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you're damn right we will. As long as we stick together, we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, you guys can adopt me. <laughs> adopt uh. you? <laughs> we can get a puppy. A uh, puppy? And a parrot. Parrot. Sure. Great. I always want a pet, but my mom's allergic to so. Huh. Next up on this boring Wednesday is a song to get your blood pumping. Yeah, this boring Wednesday where an entire city got destroyed and a huge zombie outbreak happened. So that's the end of Resident Evil 2. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this and see my like C ranking that I got. Yep, C ranking, nice. Uh, it took way too long, way too many saves, but that's how it is. Well-deserved C ranking. That's probably the lowest ranking you can actually get. I don't know. I don't know if you can actually get lower, but a bunch of unlocks here. Very good. Extra game modes. Pretty sweet stuff. Now I have, like, weekly challenges, I suppose. So that's it for Resident Evil 2. Overall, I feel like it was a pretty solid game, pretty solid remake. Unfortunately, if you look at the original Resident Evil to the Resident Evil 1 remake and compare it to some of the other remakes they've done, it just isn't quite as much of a jump or as good as that Resident Evil 1 to Resident Evil 1 remake. I feel like uh, in the original remake, they changed a lot more stuff. And, uh, the, of course, the game ended up looking better, and, and this game certainly looks a lot better than the original Resident Evil 2. But I feel like a little bit more went into the original remake just a little just nicer changes overall and uh but i generally don't have very many complaints about this game but i am pretty biased because i do really enjoy that original resident evil 2 but overall pretty good overall i would say this is definitely better than the resident evil 3 remake though i don't have a lot of knowledge and i'm not as connected to resident evil 3 as resident evil 2 but uh, the Resident Evil 3 remake isn't a bad game overall, just if you really did enjoy the original Resident Evil 3, it's probably not going to be quite as good for you, because a lot of stuff did get cut out, and uh, stuff did get added in its place, but it's definitely a little bit different. But overall, Resident Evil 2, really good game, I really liked it, it was one of my favorite games of last year. And uh, it, it does go on sale every so often, at least on Steam, I picked this up for like 20 bucks a couple months ago. So you can definitely find it cheap here and there, and I'm sure it goes on sale on on console as well. So if you liked what you saw and you're interested in playing and maybe you're just new to the series, uh, you can definitely pick up some Resident Evil games for relatively cheap at this point once they go on sale. Otherwise, I don't know, I, it probably sits at like full price still here and there, like maybe 60 bucks, 40 bucks. I'm not sure what it is because I haven't checked it in forever. But definitely if you liked what you saw, you should probably at least pick it up on sale at some point. You'll probably have a good time. Um, there's definitely re replayability here, trying to get better ranks and stuff because you don't want to end up with a B and a C rank like I did. So you can definitely play through the game and uh, try your best. And you know, even even when you're done, once you've been through the game, you know, one time or two times, you you definitely start picking up things a lot better. You know exactly what you need to grab. You know how you need to tackle things, and. Uh, Usually I don't do that with games. Usually I'll beat it like one time and be like, that was fun and move on. But uh, with this game for sure, I definitely went back and tried to play through it as best as I could. And you'll definitely get your money's worth if you think that would be good for you. But that's it for now for Resident Evil 2. Uh, we'll probably be moving on to Resident Evil 3 uh, as the next game I do. And then after that, I'm not really sure. I'll probably, by, by the time I'm done with Resident Evil 3, uh, hopefully I will be taking some requests from games for you guys because I don't know what else you would want to see and I don't know what else I would want to play so I'm sure there's some games you can figure out that would be good for me to play so either way let me know hope you enjoyed this playthrough I'll see you guys next time